Hello. Now for a video of a recent round the world trip I wanted to incorporate an animated Indiana Jones style map to uh, show the route and you can see the finished map here. Uh, now I wanted to do this in motion using a map created in Illustrator uh, and couldn't really find a good guide to doing this online um, so I thought I'd provide my own. So beginning with Illustrator I've adapted a freely downloadable vector map, um, mainly by changing the colours, removing countries that uh, I didn't need, and changing the typeface of the places. Uh, I've then uh, drawn an illustrator path which shows the route, uh, along with some of the places visited along the way. And this starts in London, goes around Europe, across Russia, through Mongolia and China, to the US, Canada, up to Iceland and then back to London and to give the impression of sort of having come full circle I've duplicated Europe and the first part of the uh, route as well and you may have noticed that these paths extend to the bottom right and to the top left hand corners of the map and this is to help with um, lining everything up in motion so the first thing that uh, we need to do is to save these in a format that Motion can understand. And there's actually a very useful script that you can download, and I'll put the address of this in the video information, um, that allows you to do just that. So when you have it installed, you just need to select the path, go to File, Scripts, Export as Motion Shape, and then give it a name. So in this case, it's the Moving path. So then we just need to select the static path and do the same. So call that static. And then to have a blank map that we uh, can animate on, just need to delete those paths, go to file, save as, call it something like map no line and make sure it's a PDF compatible file so that Motion will understand it. And that's it for Illustrator. Uh, we now just need to go over to Motion, File, New. Now these settings match those in uh, the video uh, and I found a duration of 45 minutes um, seem to work with this animation. So click Open and the first thing you need to do is just drag the map with no line into the center there. And to ensure that it can be rescaled without um, losing any quality, uh, if you click Media, select the map, and then Inspector, if you make sure the fixed resolution box is unticked, then this allows uh, the map to be rescaled to any size. So in this case, I want to go back to the layers, select properties and then change the scale to 750%. And we want to now import the paths. So just drag and drop the moving path. Now if you notice looking in the timeline the default length of these shapes is, is quite short so you just need to drag that out Make sure that it goes right to the end. And then do the same with the static path, import that. Drag that out as well. And these need to be rescaled to 750% as well. Um, before I go any further, I'll just rename them so I don't get confused. So this is the static path. This is the moving path. And going to Inspector and Properties, change the scale to 750% and 750%. Now in the case of the moving path, to ensure that the animation uh, is as smooth as possible, uh, you just need to go to Shape, Geometry, and untick the box that's labelled Preserve Scale.
So if we get uh, an overview by uh, inserting a camera, which is down here to the bottom right, and then click on switch to 3D when the box comes up. And then here, click on front to get an overview of how things are looking. So the lines are, are well off at the moment, so um, we need to make sure those are centered. But unfortunately, by clicking on properties and changing the position to zero and zero, they're still off. Uh, now, a way I found of getting around this is to draw an object such as a rectangle, making it invisible, and then grouping it with the line. So hold shift to select the second layer, object, group, and then under properties, if you make sure this is zero and zero, you can see that's now perfectly centered. So we just need to do the same with the um, moving object. So again, draw a rectangle, make it invisible. I'll just drag this down to here. Select both layers with shift, object, group, and then under properties, change the position to zero and zero. So that's all looking lined up now. And now everything is lined up. The extra uh, lines uh, to the top left and bottom right hand corners can be uh, deleted as well. So select the moving path, edit points. Delete the final point. Come back here and delete the first point. And the same with the static. So delete that first point. And delete the final point. So now we're ready to take a closer look, see if everything's lined up. So click on the camera, which you can just about see is a little tiny dot there, um, and then move that, drag and drop that so it's in roughly the right place, so we can see the beginning of the path, and then click on active camera. And I'll just fit this in window so we can see a little bit more. So you can see it's it's almost lined up, but um, it is slightly out and the color is slightly wrong as well. So we just need to correct those. Um, clicking on um, the group for the moving path, um, change the position for Y to minus two, and that just shifts it down a little bit and lines it up. And you'll need to do that for um, the static group, which we can't see. And then you just need to change the colour. Now I know the colour it should be, so I'll just try entering that. For some reason that pops back to 29, but it looks fine, so I'm, I'm happy with that. And um, I just need to select the static, do the same thing. So I can be confident that that will be the, uh, the right colour as well. So now we're ready to animate the path. Uh, and to do this, you need to uh, click on library and behaviors and then shape and it's right on, which is the behavior. And you can see up here a demonstration of what it's going to do. So I drag this to the moving object and it disappears. And if I move the playhead, we now have an animated path. Now, obviously we need the camera to follow this round. So um, to do this, firstly, we just need to make sure the camera is um, lined up in the center. So um, zero, zero, that's gonna be about here. So we can use this tool here just to nudge it. Yeah. 
Okay, that's looking pretty centered. Uh, and then we need another behavior to add to the camera. And this is under basic motion and it's motion path. So again, drag and drop that onto the camera. You can see that the sort of the default is for it to go along a straight line, but we want it to follow um, the path. Uh, rather than drawing out the, the path again, uh, it's very simple to uh, make it follow that path exactly by just on the HUD, clicking uh, where it says open spline, clicking geometry, and the little box appears that allows you to drag the moving path. And you can see that the root is now indicated on the screen. We move the playhead. The path and the camera are both in the exact centre of the screen. Yeah, so that's looking good. And that's almost it. Now there's one more thing that I added just to give a little bit of depth. Um, and that was a light which would also um, follow the route of the camera. First of all, you need to duplicate the moving path. So click on that, uh, on that layer and um, edit, duplicate. And I'll rename this for light just to avoid confusion and get rid of the write on behavior and get rid of that path so we can't see it. Uh, now if um, this path as it was was used for the light uh, you wouldn't be able to see it because at the moment if we have a look on the inspector under properties at the moment it's zero pixels away um, from the Z plane which is what the map is sitting on so we just need to give this a bit of height 150 pixels should be enough so now we create a light I will just go to front here because it's going to go quite dark when I insert the light. So the light is down here next to the camera and only the middle of the ocean there is being lit up at the moment. So I'll drag this over so it illuminates the first bit of the map. I can then go to the active camera and make sure that that is actually I just need to make the playhead go right back to the very first point there we go and then I can make sure that's centered so now it's simply a case of um, adding the motion path to the light and then again changing open spline to geometry and I'll just show you what would have happened if I hadn't created this um, extra path if I just dragged the moving path onto onto this box here it's dark the, the light isn't far enough away from the map for you to be able to see it but if I uh, drag the path that I've created with a bit of um, height away from the Z plane then you can see it. And now just to test that this light is, is following everything around, we can just drag this and we can see that, yep, the path is being animated and the camera and light, they're both following it too. And that's it. It's just a case of publishing it as a Final Cut generator. And then that will be available in Final Cut to be incorporated with the video. So thank you very much for listening. I hope I've been helpful.